بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آر فائن اسٹیئنگ ہوم اینڈ ٹیکنگ گڈ کیئر آف یور سیلفس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن سم سمپل کانسیپٹس آف فونالوجی اینڈ ویل آلسو ڈسکس دا مین ڈفرینس بٹوین فونیٹکس اینڈ فونالوجی فونیٹکس اینڈ فونالوجی بوتھ آر امپارٹنٹ سب فیلڈس آف لنگوسٹکس ڈیلنگ ود اسپیچ ساؤنڈ ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول فرسٹ ٹاک اباؤٹ فونیٹکس اینڈ دین فونالوجی Dear students, what is phonetics? Have you ever wondered how human beings produce sound and are able to speak? Well, phonetics is the scientific or systematic study of human speech sounds. Phonetics is general study of all human speech sounds and how they are produced, transmitted and received. When we look at the term phonetics, it is made of a Greek word phone which means sound or voice. The study of phonetics is divided into three main branches, articulatory phonetics, acoustic phonetics, and auditory phonetics. What is articulatory phonetics? Articulatory phonetics is concerned with the articulation of a speech, the position, shape, and movement of articulators means speech organs such as lips, tongue, and vocal folds. Acoustic phonetics is the study of physical properties of speech sounds and how sounds are transmitted via air in the shape of waves. Auditory phonetics is the study of how sounds are perceived by the human ear or recognized by the brain. If you notice the names of these branches all use initial letter A. Alternatively, You could use P and associate these branches with production, physics, and perception to remember these disciplines. Now, look at this picture for better understanding of the concept. Articulatory phonetics deals with the physiological function of language. Human beings are able to produce sounds with the help of speech organs such as vocal cords, larynx, etc. Acoustic, physic, uh, acoustic phonetics physically uh, analyzes speech as vibration of air. It is the study of physical properties of sounds which are determined by measuring pitch, loudness and quality. While auditory phonetics deals with the hearing of speech sounds, and speech perception. We can also say the way sounds are heard or interpreted. Now, let's briefly talk about parts of human vocal tracts. The production of speech involves some basic understanding of speech anatomy. Think of a minute, how people produce sounds. Say a few words and concentrate on what is happening inside your mouth. The movement of your tongue, lips, jaw are incredibly quick, delicate and complex. When you think about it, it is a miracle that anybody can talk. When we speak, we push air out of our lungs, up through our throat and out of our mouth or nose. The vibration of our vocal cords along with the movement of our tongue and lips changes the airflow and produces different sounds. Hence, all body parts we use to produce speech sounds are called articulatory system. Now, what is phonology? Phonology is how speech sounds are organized and affect one another in pronunciation. It deals with the system and pattern of sounds which exist within a particular language. The study of phonology of English looks at the vowels, consonants, and supersegmental features of the language, for example, stress and intonation. Here, it is an important point to notice that phonology is the scientific study of a spoken sounds of one particular language. When we say one particular language, it can be Urdu, it can be Arabic, it can be French, German, it can be Spanish or English, or any language, because in phonology, It has 
language has distinctive sound. Each and every language has a distinctive sound. So if you see the structure of English language, especially in terms of phonology, it has 44 sounds. It has 44 sounds. And if you divide these 44 sounds, there are 24 sounds which are consonant and 20 sounds are vowel sounds. Now, let's talk about what is phoneme. Phoneme is the smallest unit of sound that makes a difference in meaning or that changes one word into another word. Or when we divide this string into small pieces, which we call segment. Look at this example. First word has three letters, which we call segments, P, I, N. If we change the vowel of that word and write E instead of I, the word will be changed and will give you an entirely different meaning. Similarly, in the next example, the word is pet, P, E, T. But when you change the consonant and replace the letter P with B, the word will be changed and will give you a different meaning. The most influential system of articulatory description and transmission of speech sounds has been that of the International Phonetic Association, which aims to provide a phonetic symbol of every phoneme of every language. In the IPA tradition, speech is characterized as a sequence of separate speech segments, such as consonants and vowels. Look at this phonetic chart. Look at this phonetic chart. What do you see in it? In this phonetic chart, you will find the phonetic symbols of 44 sounds, out of which 24 sounds are consonants and 20 sounds are vowel. This phonemic chart is useful for learning pronunciation because the spelling of a word in English doesn't always tell us how it is going to sound. For example, let's think about any two words beginning with CH. This can sound as ch, like in chairs, uh, or chips, or this word can also give you a sound of k, like chemistry, cat. So in this sound as k in chemistry, and if you look at the name, which is Cheryl, like C-H-E-R-Y-O, Cheryl, which is a female name, so you see that this is giving you a sound of sh. So the same for name ch is giving you three different sounds. How do we make out when we speak or when we are reading? How do we make out that which sound is correct? What word uh, this? But uh, what, what what this particular word and how this particular word sounds? So this phonemic chart help us to identify the correct pronunciation and with the help of these phonetic symbols. So with the help of this phonemic chart, we can distinguish the sounds. So that's enough for today. We have studied phonology and phonetics both, uh, you know, briefly. And now today, after this lecture, I'm going to put a small quiz in the group and hope you will all attempt it. Thank you very much. Take good care of yourselves.